everybody, what's up? So today's video is something a little bit different to what we usually do here. So in the past we've done some unboxing videos, we've done some gameplay videos, but this is something completely different. This is the beginning of a completely new journey for me. So as you know, I already look after Reg, the pug, he sat over there. I don't think he'll come over, but I'll try. What's this? One eternity later. No? You're tired. Yeah. You sleepy puppy. Yeah, he's not coming over. It's, uh, it's 12.36, so he's, it's a midday nap for him. He's chilling. I'll show you him. He's over there. There he is. So, I'm very pleased to say that we have put down a deposit on one. So we are getting a puppy. Um, I will show pictures here. Uh, he is absolutely adorable. He, at the minute, he is one week and five days old. We have decided to name him Stanley. Um, he is lilac and tan. Uh, we have plans to go and see him again in a couple of weeks, which I'm really excited about. Um, and so hopefully we can bring him home in about six and a bit weeks, seven weeks. Um, we've already picked up some stuff for him. Uh, we have made the agreement so far that until Stanley comes home with us, Reggie is still king pup of the house. He is our number one boy because we look after him. He's just put his head up at that because he knows he owns this house. Don't you mate? <laughs> so um, all of Reggie's stuff is all of Reggie's stuff. We've got Stanley's stuff put away so that it's ready for Stanley when he comes. So Reg won't be, um, Reg won't have anything to do with it. He's already had a little bit of a sniff, but to be on the safe side, we've put everything away in a cupboard. Um, we haven't got much for him yet. We've just got a couple of toys. Um, I haven't got a bed yet. We're still trying to work out what we're going to do with the cage because we want to crate train him. Um, but we're sorting out where we think it could, his crate will be able to go at night time because um, I'm quite a heavy sleeper, so and I've got a lot of uh, electric electrical points in my room, so it's very hot in my room. So we don't think it would be fair for him to stay in my room with me. So we're looking at having him having him either in my parents' room or on the landing. Um, uh, we haven't decided what we're going to do yet. But, um, so we've still got lots of bits to get. We've managed to pick him up a food and a water dish. Uh, he's got a mat to go in the bottom of his crate. He's got a comforter that we need to take over to when we go and see him again. They're going to look after that for us. And then a week or so before he comes home with us, uh, the lady will put the comforter in with him so it's got the scent of his mum. Uh, we've got him some toys. We've got him some teething toys because God help us when that happens. When Reg went through it, it was a nightmare. He was chewing everything. So we're hoping that um, Stanley will be a little bit easier to deal with when he's teething, but I'm not holding my breath so far. Um, my idea is that Reggie and Stanley will be best friends. He's just giving me a dirty look because I'm talking too loud while he's trying to sleep. Um, we're hoping that they're going to be best friends because uh, we think that they're going to be roughly the same size. Uh, Reggie is now full grown because he's an adult, even though we still call him a puppy because he has the mindset of a puppy. Um, so we think that Stanley's probably going to be about the same size. We think that Stanley might be a little bit more muscular. Um, his Stanley's dad is quite a, a bulky, chunky guy. 
and um, his mum is lovely. She's got a lovely temperament, um, and she's just she's a sweetheart. She looks adorable. So um, yeah, we think that they're going to be roughly the same size. So and Reggie's really good with other dogs. He immediately just wants to play. So I have a feeling that things will go well. Uh, Brucey, my other cousin's dog, is also good with dogs. He grew up with Reggie, so Reggie and Brucey uh, grew, sort of grew up together. Um, my nan's dog, who is a rescue dog, um, is a little bit wary of other dogs. She doesn't like other dogs. She's not nasty, she's just scared. So we have taken Reggie to meet her once and she wasn't she wasn't too keen. I think it's because she's a rescue that that's the case. I don't know what happened to her before she was rescued, but um, she came from Battersea in Old Windsor. So I don't, I don't know how things will go with that. Um, I'm hoping that if we introduce Stanley to her from an early age, that she'll sort of realise that he's okay and that maybe she might take him under her wing and things like that. But. Um, We'll see how that goes. It, it is what it is at the end of the day. We can't force them to be best friends. Can't force them to do anything. So yeah, uh, I will link my socials. I will uh, be sure to keep everyone updated on what's going on. Why are my arms doing that? That's really weird. Um, so yeah, uh, plan is to get this uploaded quite quickly because the sooner it's up, the sooner people know what's going on. Um, and I will be back very soon with some more content. Uh, hopefully some more gaming content, some more live content, as well as wholesome puppy videos. And I'm going to end this video on Reggie having a snooze because Reggie's only featured in two of my videos so far. And I'm really sad about that because he would rather spend time with my dad than me. And that one's home, so I'm making the most of this opportunity. So yeah, um, I hope that everyone's staying safe and well, and that you're not going crazy during lockdown. Um, be sure to check out my socials, and I will see you soon. Whoa. Let's end on. Oh, don't be like that. This is what I mean. He just hates me. He's fully just walked away from me. <sighs> Maybe he's just not keen on the tripod. There we go. We'll end on Reggie. He's living his best life. Bye, everyone.